Hello you guys, Toxic Venom here, aka Carlos Stancil. And here I'm just outside at my beautiful pond and here I have a Florida chicken turtle. Um scientific name I do not know, but here is its plastron and its carapace. I'm gonna go ahead and get it wet real quick so y'all can see it better. Here's its carapace. I've caught like, I think two of these before in my lifetime here. And yeah, just look at that face. He's very mean. He, he's not very happy that I caught him. Oh, that beautiful sunlight. Um, But basically, let me tell you how I caught him. Um, Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you how I caught him. So this is where I caught this guy. Um. So basically, I was all the way over there, over here, where these apartments are. Not so fast. I'm dropping the turtles, you guys. Um, but like not this one that y'all see right now with the golf cart in front of it. Not, not, eh, not that one. But the one beside it over here. So I was over there looking at my balcony, looking over like the balcony or whatever. And I came out here with my herping shoes, my herping attire. Just got back from school and I looked it. And I looked over here, sorry I thought I heard somebody. And I looked over here because I usually always see turtles over here in the afternoons. And it's getting warmer down here in Florida. And so I looked over here, I saw a bundle of turtles. And I could tell because like, if it was a shadow, let me show a little bit of this guy. But if it was a, He's hissing. Look at his face. He's not very happy. But I saw if it was a shadow, I could tell because the shadows usually come up to right here. Right there. And so I came over here. And I was thinking, if y'all remember, like, a couple of weeks ago, or, yeah, like, starting of January sometime. I'm keep hearing somebody. Starting of January sometime. I caught this terrapin and I recorded it. I was talking about how I was over here on the stone thing. And so what I did at that time, like I went around across the pond over here, y'all can't see it, but over here, I wide it up over here, right? I went through the woods. Hold up. Oh, he just tried to snap at my finger. Hold up. So luckily I have my tripod, but I walked around this pond. And somewhere around here, there is an opening to the woods. So I walked through the woods, all the way through there, and I slowly approached them at that opening. Okay, hold up. And so, then I sneaked up over here, and sadly, Muskrat, that's what I call her, um, was just too slow and trusted me a little bit too much, and so she went down too late, and luckily the water was very clear, so I was able to see where she was. Look at that long neck. A very good trait of the chicken turtle. But basically, I saw where she was and I just kind of walked in there and put my hand on her shell to keep her from moving. That's my very, that's what I do with like turtles, like chicken turtle sliders or whatever. It's like if they're in the water, then I'll just keep push my hand on them, keep them to the ground to keep them from swimming away. And so that's what I did with her. Then I pulled her out. And basically, the same thing I did with them. When I came over here, there was like, there was a yellow belly slider slash red ear slider hybrid, I think, because I haven't seen any yellow belly sliders down here, down in this pond, some type of cooter, and this chicken turtle. Now, the yellow belly slider, it was about the size of this chicken turtle. Um, the cooter was pretty small, it was like this big. Um... Yeah, the chicken turtles get bigger than this too, because if y'all see my first video of the chicken turtle, then you could tell like the size difference. And so yeah. So, I try using the same method. I came out of the woods over here. I would slowly approach them, but when like the yellow bone slider slash the RE hybrid went into the water, the chicken turtle 
and the the cooter went into the water and I was just like dang I thought it'll be it'll work because I thought since it worked with muskrat it will work with these two and so when I was just standing there just looking at where they were and everything and then I see this guy here let me bring you up a little bit closer hold up I'm gonna have to pause my video real quick okay I'll be back all right so right about here and it's not far from where that stone thing is like here they were right on the edge right there and so they all started diving into the water and so I was just standing over there right at the edge and then I saw this guy oh not even in front but then I saw this guy swimming over here he was whoop, he was like climbing through the grass and so then I just caught him so here's the recreation okay so basically I was right over here and if y'all can't hear me too good I'm sorry but I was right over here so I saw him coming right here so then when I saw him I slowly approached him. and then I just kind of and then that and then I caught him Florida chicken turtle. Gotta love them. So I'm just gonna take a couple of pictures and then I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. Okay, you guys, um, I got my pictures. It was a real struggle getting this thing still and not so angry at me. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and let um, her. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and let her go because she is ready to go. And it's not too far from where I caught her. Just a couple of down, couple of yards down. Just wanted y'all to see her through clear water and everything. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys. We're gonna go ahead and let her go. I don't know if it got good. If I got a good pick for a vid, why am I saying that? I don't know if it looked good, but yeah. It is done. Okay, guys. Toxic Venom here. Peace. You got the touch. You got the